welcome to Gail's Safe House. We have been building tiny homes on here for women that are just need a safe place. A hand up, not a hand out. And this is our next project right here. We got this donated to us. We're a nonprofit, 501c3. And so they donated this trailer with this reefer on it. And what's good about a reefer trailer is that they're double insulated all the way around, top, bottom, and the walls, everything, they're great. And so we just take off that reefer and we has a hole up there for a window. And so we, I want to kind of show you today a little bit of how we are converting this into a tiny home, a one bedroom, tiny home for uh, a safe house. So the first thing you had to do is build a deck. So here's the deck and it actually have stairs that will run off of it. Um, they'll be, those doors will swing out and be a part of the deck actually. And then there'll be a French doors right there in the entrance. And they will, uh, those, here's your stairs, stair str stringers right here. And so your stairs will come right up there. We wanted the stairs to be on this side so that we can still get vehicles through there. Um, and then he made, uh, here's all of our power already here, already run power. And uh, I actually got a 50 amp service right here. And then we have these, we sturdied up, poured concrete and sturdied up these, um, the whole trailer so that if there's any settling, these will continue to hold its weight exactly level. So the young man that's doing all this work, he needed to know, we had to get the windows and the doors and everything ahead of time. So he had the exact measurement. We found a place in Leesburg, Oregon called Pat's and they have all kinds of stuff for mobile homes that's very inexpensive. So um, we got those windows for a very good price. Now, what we're doing is right here, you see these are gonna be the flooring right here. Um, there is already flooring uh, in the trailer itself, but we're going to put that over the current flooring, and then we have uh, vinyl flooring that will go over the top of that. Let me show you what I mean. I'm sure if you've been already looking into these trailers, you already know that they, they come, these reefer trailers come with this metal flooring. So um, we didn't want to put just the vinyl over the top of that, so that's where the boards are going on the top of this, just to kind of make it an, a more flat surface. And then the tile will go over the top of that. So I kind of wanted just to do a step-by-step -step of our rehab of this trailer. 48 foot reefer trailer. And uh, what he's done here is just put some on the walls. These are all insulated walls already. So that was one of the beauties of it is that everything's already insulated. Insulated walls, floor, roof, everything. These are uh, some furring strips that he's got out here so that he can apply the wall to. In essence, he just framed out the roof. This will be a, a French door. This is the deck he built. It'll be a French door walking into a living room the living room will go somewhere around here then it'll be a kitchen kitchen window will go to somewhere approximately here and it'll have a wall furred out right here and then there'll be a bathroom so there'll be a shower corner shower right here your sink your bath your bathroom window and then this will all be a bedroom so you can see this back part will be a bedroom. There'll be another door here and another deck out that way.
this is what he's putting in. It's a, it's a, it's just a, it's for trailers, really. So it's, this is for the roof right here. And it's actually a real thin gypsum. So, and that will be on the, on the ceiling. Obviously the walls will all be drywall. So now there's a lot of people that have talked about they would rather have uh, wood sidings or a different kind of siding and and I would too, but it's a lot more expensive and we're not moving this so we can have drywall. I wouldn't say at all that this is gonna be super fancy, super nice, um, but it's gonna be very efficient and effective running power all down one side and uh, the power will go to outlets every every about three feet. There'll be power outlets. And uh, then I'll kind of let, show you the layout of what we're gonna do. Cutting out the doors, the windows, putting in the roof. We already have one ceiling there and then the flooring is gonna be here. So um, trying to get as much of it on video as possible, but it's a process, but it's actually, uh, a whole lot more doable than you would think. So just encourage you that if you're thinking about doing it, it's, it's you know, some work, uh, and just it kind of depends on how nice you want to make it. So um, we're, we're just kind of doing, making it quality, but not high dollar. Tacked in, that's just tacked in for now, um, so the rain doesn't get in. So that's the piece you cut out. <laughs> This whole thing has to still come down. I don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> the best way to do it. And he's cut out these two windows already. Look at that. Boy, that looks really good. There's the bathroom window. And there's the big window. Wow. Wow. It's amazing with the windows how it starts to look less like a trailer. So this is the bathroom and this will be the hallway. Bathroom window. Oh, super excited. Bedroom. There will be French doors right there. Those two doors will be open and there'll be a set of French doors right there. And this is the living room. There it is. He's knocking it out. It's starting to look like an actual place. Okay, so in order to get this refrigerated unit off of here, it's actually pretty simple, or it should be, but if it's been on there a long time, it's very difficult. But there are three studs with nuts on them. One, two, and three. On both sides, you take off the flanges, on the side here, both sides, and it's just three studs and it comes, three bolts, you loosen the bolts and they come right off. Here's the problem. They've been on there a long time. Uh, it's not it's not so easy to, <laughs> it's very, down, it's torqued down. So you're gonna need a good impact wrench or a, a pipe with a, you know, side, something. You gotta figure out something for it. And uh, that's where I put a little WD-40 on it, let it sit. And we're, we got another idea we're going to try to get it off on. So, but that's the behind this is a hole that we can act, then put a window in and make it a nice little area up there. That's what's making all the noise. So, he just took a regular sawzall with some metal blades. So there's two metal sides. There's also a, uh, he was saying a composite type, like heavy plastic uh, framing that's in there that you have to cut through as well. But uh, but it's, it's he's gone through a few uh, Sawzall blades, but it's he's got almost all the windows cut out of it now on this side and the other. We now have the framed wall on this side and we obviously now took out the refrigerated unit so it leaves this giant hole. 
seen a lot of people do a lot of things, put, put windows up here, but what we're going to do is we found that there's a, a, a piece on the bottom where the refrigerated unit kind of sat in that makes a perfect ledge. And we're building out a four foot um, just extension. We're going to wall it completely in and it can be a bedroom. We can make it into a, if somebody has a small child, they can sit up here. Or if it's it's just a single mother, then what they can do is use it to store stuff. So it just opens up the whole area even more. So things are really coming along. Here's our closet, our power, and the uh, bathroom. And then right here will be a refrigerator. We're not going to put a full-size refrigerator. We're going to put one of those uh, throwback you know, older three quarter refrigerators in here. And then that'll leave from this wall all the way forward will be the living room. And we have these two giant windows. Honestly, when we got the windows, we didn't realize they were that big, but it sure makes it airy and open and beautiful. So there's the hole all filled in, boxed out. Looks pretty good. Nice little space. Still, so there's the bedroom window, extra little nook. And then you've got, that's where the door's gonna go. And the bed will be right underneath there, right there. The new French doors installed. Nice, beautiful deck. Turned out a whole lot better than I was expecting. Looks really good. And that's what it looks like, obviously. That's just a temporary framing and all that foam is gonna go. And this is, the deck will be right there. So that's the bedroom entrance. All these pieces of wood you see are just temporary framing holdings. And it'll all be done correctly. Put this in today, fully and completely. Here's the back doors. And just open up. Here's the windows, the inside, the air conditioners, windows. Now I have to run all the wires. So we're walking into the bedroom now. Bedroom here, come around. You've got your all your power there. Here's the bedroom. This is the bedroom door that have its own walkout. You walk out to another deck right there. And then you come along here and this is an extra, can be an extra bed for a child or just a nook for storage. Another air conditioning unit, windows right there. So this is what it looks like looking back out. Just thought I would share it with you guys. We're making progress. Love these big, giant, beautiful windows. So it looks like looking out of the property. Yeah, today's been sort of difficult. It's just a lot of hard work uh, running the power, the electric. And it's uh, really an interesting way that, that I'm doing it. So I'm running all the way from the box all the way to this is one of my home runs. Now this box is feeding up to the light and it's feeding the power that will power the refrigerator. And then it's coming out, going back down and feeding the other plug that's gonna be in the kitchen over the sink. So that's an idea of what a home run is. That's all, that's, it's all coming to here and then going out of here. We're gonna put a uh, tongue groove wood here for a different look and even up the sides right there and into the cubby hole just to give it kind of a different look. But all the siding, I mean, all the, the uh, Drywall is all finished. Walking in, there's the kitchen, living room, looking really good. Kept that off yet because I gotta put a light out that hole right there. All the wires are run and ready to be stripped and made outlets. Coming along great, looking great. Toilet in and we're getting our, Banister in, and then look at there. 
the shower, the corner shower, the linoleum floor is in, all the crown molding is are uh, done, attached. It's really coming together. It's getting a little late, but I just wanted to show you the uh, laid 200 foot of pipe. We trenched this, then took me a whole nother day just to dig out all of the roots and stuff, even after the trencher. The trencher was a joke. <laughs> Uh, so it was a two day process to dig the 200 foot trench. And then it took me just to the day to put in the pipe. And I wanted to show you that it's, so I got it up to a joint here, right here, goes to a joint right there. All right. And then that'll come to the trailer and I got a nice little 20 gallon, um, hot water heater. And going there and then it i continued it on past here just to bring water down so that we have a place for we'll have a four four pole hookup right here for people to and their rvs like ours to come right here to hook up water so all in all it's working out really well so this is the uh, sewer system that i had put in it's all underground there and the pipes are there now and that's the lattice. I had never done a front picture, I don't think. I'm super excited to show you that it's dark outside because I've got all the electricity run, all the water runs. But you come down here in the hallway, you got hallway light and you got bathroom light. Not only do you have bathroom light, you've got bathroom light and bathroom light. <laughs> this lights up like the 4th of July. So we finally finished the majority of this project that we've been working on for the last couple months. So we wanted to show you the finished product. Of course, there's the front door that you walk in. There's the living room area. And then it goes right into the kitchen. There's gonna be a countertop put on that. That's, that's the little part that's not finished. Of course, the little sink. We used a toolbox as our cabinetry, if you will, and refrigerator to match. There's the cabinets. Then you walk down the hallway to the bathroom. There's the shower. Of course, just basic bathroom. It's pretty decent size for a small home. And then back here is the bedroom. Has a little push out for extra storage. Another air conditioner, back door, emergency exit, however you want to look at it. And then a small closet. We're gonna name it May May's Safe House. And the story behind that is there's a, an amazing lady uh, that is, uh, her name was May May and she took care of her family, but she also took in people, young people that uh, were struggling and needed a safe place. And uh, and this was be, would be her dream place right here. And she did that even to sometime her own detriment. And, uh, and so we honor her, and I know that Gail carries that same heart, and so we're naming this place May May's Safe Place. Thank you to all the, the help, all the donors. I don't want to say their name on here because you know who you are, and uh, I, we appreciate it, and we hope that whoever is able to live here finds it to be a safe, quiet harbor 
where they can get their feet back underneath them and get restarted in life. Have a great day. Thank you for being, taking us along, being along on this journey with us.